Well, good day everyone and welcome to today's video where we're doing a DIY town. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, you're going to need all of these materials that you can see on your screen currently. After you've assigned and got all of them, you're ready to start. Start off by making all the buildings. We did all of our buildings with using styrofoam and covering it in construction paper. Nona's over here helping me do all the building doors and windows because it was a really time consuming part. Like this building itself took 45 minutes. Imagine timesing it by, I don't know, like 15 or 17. I think it was 18 more buildings, I'm not sure. It was some thing around there. Some number around there. So in case if you're wondering about the funny names, this is actually a math project and we're supposed to use math terms to name the buildings. Up next, we're drawing the map. This is pretty self-explanatory, you draw the map however you like. After the map was drawn, I took some silver electric, uh, metallic electric tape and I am basically cutting it out and making all the roads. The silver tape looked like concrete, so it turned out to be pretty good. And you know what, when you're doing a project by yourself, it's whatever you decide is exactly what happens. Next is the farm floor slash fence. So the farm fence, as you can see, is toothpick and yarn. Yeah, there's really nothing that I can explain here. Just see. And the farm floor is very self-explanatory. We just glue down some moss with regular old Elmer's glue. The bridge was a real pain in the head since we had no YouTube videos up in here that showed you how to make a bridge, like a simple bridge. So I took a swing at it and it turned out pretty good. So I took 8 5 cm long uh, wood pieces and 2 11 cm long wood pieces. I glued 6 of the 8 wood pieces together to make the pathway and the other 2 5 cm pieces I put it as the bridge leg and then the 11 centimeter pieces I put it on the side to make the railing type situation so people don't fall off and here we're just gluing the pieces as we wrote it basically here we have the river and the bridge uh, I'm just assembling the uh, river right now I put some white paper down so the river can pop and shine if you will and placing the bridge. This is pretty self-explanatory. Label slash railroad is up next. This is how we made every single street a name slash label. Yes, this is a lot. And over here we're making the railroad. This took quite a long time to make. And I'm really sorry about the lighting. My hand looks orange. This was very awful lighting. I understand. So as you can see, there's like a white wire running through it. That's because it's a wire for the lamppost because the lampposts light up. So we had to figure out a way to hide all of these wires. So I'm just taking some silver metallic tape and taping it down. We added some cars as you can see on the right, and some farm animals and some people. So yeah, here is how one of the buildings look like. Yeah, these are just some um, these. We added also a church because that's like a necessity in a town, like a town has to have some place. Like a church. <laughs> So yes, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want future videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And yes, you can see some behind the scenes of this at the end of the video. Yeah, I'll see you all lovely people next week. Bueno diga bye. Gorgia Zoider, isn't it, guys? Hmm.
look at what time it is. It's 3.45 in the morning and we still have to clean all of this mess up. This is what you guys don't see in normal DIY videos, but this is the reality. Yeah, no one is helping and our storage room is absolutely destroyed, guys. This is not funny, this is not funny. Yeah, today is the day that we have to turn it in and it's 3.31 in the morning and I have to wake up 3 hours from now. And I'm still not done filming.